hey gorgeous what is up and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi my name is cc cc of the good life and if you're an og returning subscriber welcome back today's video as you have already clocked from the title is a sheen try on haul i'm going to be doing a huge sheen summer slash vacation type outfit try on haul so this is all we have to sort through this is what my other came in looking like and we're going to go through this pile okay i picked out some accessories and a whole load of outfits we're just going to try and go through everything yes she does deliver to nigeria and they deliver to your doorstep they deliver via speed off speed off is the delivery company that delivers to your doorstep here in nigeria no i did not have to pay any form of custom fees and because i was eligible for free shipping i also did not pay for shipping at all to shop on nigeria i had to use my domiciliary card if you don't already know there's a limit to your naira card now in nigeria you can only shop to a maximum of 20 dollars which if you ask me is literally nothing shipping took 14 days which if you're counting it as per business days it just took 10 business days if you want my advice for sizing i would say before you even start doing anything from she make sure you have a tip measure yourself measure your bust your waist your shoulders your cuff they get someone to help you measure yourself so that you don't have any issues when it comes to checking for sizing on the app I am going to be putting all these details I have spoken about and my own accurate measurements in the description box. So you want to check that out for any questions you might have. First off, I picked up this brown crocodile skin bag. I'm just coming in close so you guys can see all the detailing on this bag. I love the fact that it's brown and it has gold detailing on it. This shoulder bag isn't one of your favorite sturdy shoulder bags. It's very, very soft. The material that was used for that, literally can squeeze this and put it into another bag. But I mean, it looks really, really cute. You're about to see me be a fool for this. I'm going to wear it everywhere. I'm going to carry it everywhere. I'm literally going through a shoulder bag phase i've always lost small bags but like right now i'm obsessed with shoulder bags i can't believe i'm the one saying this so far i think my phone can fit in here my power bank if you're someone that carries a wallet you can also fit in your wallet the only issue i have with the inside of this bag is the fact that it doesn't have like you know when a purse has inner inner sections where you can like put slots in your keys and your cards well it's just one big center and i don't think i fancy that but my was that it's a practical bag that you could just wear around errands and you're good to go next up i picked up this really cute phone case it is very flimsy material you guys can see that it's really bendy i can also squeeze this but i am transitioning into a new color palette after my black face on instagram and this was the perfect accessory for that new face i think it's really cute and for the price i'm not complaining it was super cheap and i will check if it has more colors and i'll definitely be ordering more of this next up i also picked up makeup sponges this was one of those last minute add to cut situations I saw it and I was like, oh yes, I actually need new makeup sponges. Uh, it's soft. Feels like a normal makeup sponge. Nothing to it. I'll probably tell you guys how I feel about it in one of my get ready with me. So if you haven't subscribed already, you want to do so that you get an update on this when I finally use it in my makeup. I also love that it comes in this kind of packaging so that even if you mess up the beauty blender you use the beauty blender you can always put it inside here seal it back and then put it in your bag and it will not mess up the rest of your makeup bag she get what i mean next i picked up this bracelet i'm not really the most success when it comes to buying jewelry off sites but when i saw this i saw that it was gold and diamond teas and it had the whole emerald like situation it was just so pretty I, could, I couldn't resist not buying this 
and so far it looks even better in person i love dainty jewelry dainty necklaces are my thing there's just something really feminine about it i absolutely love 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 this i don't know how this will wear over time and maybe i'll give you guys an update in my vlogs or something but like for now out of the bag straight out of the box nah it's super cute i'm obsessed i think i have a necklace that will go so beautifully with this literally obsessed i love it first outfit i'm going to try out is this brown bodysuit it has like a plunging v-neck line and the material is quite stretchy i got this in a size small but i don't think that i could get away with an extra small because of how stretchy the material is i also love that the Bodysuit alone is enough to lift my boobs. I'm I'm absolutely in love. I also love the way the back looks. I'm not a big fan of like the C cut detailing when it comes to bodysuits, but this one is like the perfect C cut. If there's anything like that, it's like half C cut. It's not like all the way C cut. And I love how the back looks. I love how the front looks. I love the fit. It's perfect. I style this with pants, pants are not from Shein. The material is so soft. It feels so comfortable to wear this. I absolutely love it. I'm in love. I also got the same bodysuit in a white. I didn't try this on because you know how white it is now. If I wear this on makeup, it's literally going to stain everywhere. But it is still the same detailing, plunging neckline in front. And my half, so-called half secret situation at the back. The material is also very stretchy. I got the white one in a small too, and I honestly feel like they look the same. The only thing I can see so far is that this one is transparent. Unlike the brown, that's something you might want to take into consideration before you buy the white. So I may not be able to get away without wearing like nipple pasties for this particular white one. But I that I actually love it and I cannot wait to rock this. Like I'm really seeing outfits growing up in my hair because of this white bodysuit it's a classic obviously so yes yes to this next up i picked up this marble print dress it has ruching on both sides of the dress and if you know what ruching does to your body you know that is a definite for any girl also it has like the whole bra on the wire situation so you don't need to wear a bra with this dress it's obviously going to lift your boobs for you it's tie back and the fit on me is amazing i can really see myself wearing this to brunch with the girls or just to go and see a movie like it's really really comfortable and very very chill i got this in a size small and i feel like i could have even gotten away with an extra small because of the amount of stretch on this dress i also checked reviews which is very important before i ordered any of these outfits so from the reviews people people who we are like mediums we are able to get away with a small which is why i ordered a small for this dress and i don't regret ordering a small for this particular dress overall i love the fit of me i love how it looks i think i look absolutely amazing in this dress it's just amazing it looks it looks really really pretty i'm obsessed literally obsessed even looking at it now i'm like damn girl damn next up we have this brown top this is a brown cow neck top with lantern sleeves the wrist area has elastic band which you can like scrunch up and give it that full effect i absolutely love this top and the material that was used to make this top just screams quality like i did not expect this material i was thinking that it was flimsy material that was going to be used for it but the material is literal definition of quality so with this particular top if you are normally a medium you want to get an extra small if you're normally a large you want to get a small especially if you're not top heavy like me because of how much material is put into the cow neck situation you can get away with wearing two sizes down for this top and i checked reviews and that's one thing people kept on mentioning even an extra small is even too large for me 
but if you're top heavy maybe you should get something with just one size down i can see myself wearing this for an official location i can wear this to work i can dress it down and wear it with shorts and i will still look very put together i'm absolutely in love with this top if you don't even get anything from this haul you see this top get it this top is everything it's one top that's going to be a classic you can wear it four years from now five years from now and it's still going to look amazing next up i picked up this textured skirt i'm going to come in closer so you can see the type of material that was used to make this skirt it has a lace side detail and my only issue with this lace is the fact that what attaches it to the skirt is very flimsy material you can literally just be wearing this skirt out and next thing here is pop and all your business is outside this skirt is given sexy i can totally see myself wearing this for night out for drinks or just going out to hang out with my girls because i know that is given i got this skirt in an extra small but to be frank i should have gotten a small i'm just tightening up the lace ends to wear during the day because i got a size way smaller than i am i can only now wear this skirt at night without feeling some kind of way but my nose that i absolutely love the skirt next up i picked up this tie-dye mesh top i got this in a size small but i should have gotten a size medium because there isn't really much stretch to it and I'm not even top heavy I feel like I prefer it if it was more relaxed as against just being on my body like just literally sleeping on my body mine was that the material is very very transparent there's just something about the way the browns are mixed on this top that just calls your name like when I saw it on the model I was like add to cut, no argument add to cats. I paired it with the textured lace up skirt from Sheen and it's already given. Even though I will not wear like this to go out, but just these two, you can already see, you can see the material. You see the material. <laughs> Next up, I got this one shoulder body suit. I love anything one shoulder. If you watch my videos, you already know how obsessed I am with one shoulder. Even when I make custom dresses, my first thought is to get something more short because of how flattering it is for me when i said i was like at the car definitely trying this on i got this in an extra small because from the reviews they kept on saying that there is so much stretch in the material but even the extra small is even too big for me so with anything smaller than extra small that's definitely what would have fit me perfectly i would still be able to rock it but i feel like i will need to touch the bodysuit so that it will give me that perfect fit but my nose that i love the material that was used for it it's a little bit transparent but i feel it since it's black you can get away with just wearing nipple pasties and you're good to go next up is this olive green skirt this skirt has ruching on the side and it has like a tie high slit there's something sexy about tie high slit and i got this in a size medium this skirt has a lot of stretch and i could get away with wearing a size small i really wanted the medium length skirt illusion so i sized up i paired it with the black one shoulder bodysuit also from sheen and i actually love the way the two of them look together and this wasn't planned i didn't plan to wear the bottom together but it's already given the only issue i have with this skirt is the fact that i don't think they did a nice work with the finishing you can see that the band is exposed from the waist but this is something I feel like I can give a tailor around me to fix. But it's fast fashion. What do you expect? It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare. Next up, I got this sleep dress. And I got this from the Shane tall section. I got this in a tall large. Normally, I'm supposed to be like a tall medium. But when sleeve dresses are very free and look very effortless, it gives you that feminine, effortless sleigh look. And I really wanted that with this dress. I just need to find out that a large is my perfect size. It has a very small slit in front. 
and the material is very very breathable and it's very very soft on the skin this is my favorite piece from everything i picked out they actually did try with the arrangement of the pattern of the dress because when it comes to things like this you find out that what the model might wear might be a different pattern they might send to you but it, they really tried with the consistency of the pattern because there's no difference between what was sent to me and what the model was wearing and i actually like that next up i got this bodysuit this green bodysuit i got this in a size small but i feel like i should have sized up with sheen the disparity in the sizing is weird i can fit in an extra small i can wear a small i can wear a medium i can wear a large which is why i would advise you if you're shopping from this site make sure you're reading your reviews if any outfit that doesn't have a review i'm less likely to get it because i really can't tell what it is i like to see real humans wear the outfit and get them say oh i'm a medium and i actually wear a medium or a medium and i got away with wearing a small so it kind of helps me to make decision as to whether or not i'm going to get my exact size or size up or size down with this one i should have gotten a medium because even though the small still fits me i feel like it would have looked way more pretty on me if the bodysuit had way more room the neck is also really really high i didn't see that coming but minus that i love it i paired it with jeans and it's a look i didn't know i was gonna like this bodysuit as much as i did it's making me want to go back and see if it has other patterns and other shades and i can try and order it but minus that i love it next up i got this animal skin bodysuit I love that it's animal skin, but it doesn't look like cheap animal skin. Which is why it hurts me when his body did not enter me. It literally did not enter me. It wasn't my size. And I checked reviews, which is why I was confident to get it in an extra small. Yes, I got it an extra small. Just for it to come here and it literally did not fit. I couldn't even breathe. I couldn't wear it. The hands were not even agreeing to get to the right position under my arms. It is so pretty that I know that I'm definitely going to go back to the side and order it in a bigger size and then give this one away because there's nothing I can do about it. So far, this is the only top that did not enter me at all at all. Like I couldn't even wear it, I couldn't breathe in it. And low-key, I don't like that. I hate when I buy stuff online and it doesn't enter me. But yeah, I'm just going to try and get it in a bigger size. For next time i also got this brown ribbed open back dress can you guys see the stretch on this dress this dress has a lot of room i got it in a large because the reviews weren't really giving me the real picture of the dress i feel like i could have gotten away with getting this in a medium but even a large still fits me pretty much i naturally don't like clothes that are ribbed i will not reach for clothes that are ribbed because they somehow look cheap to me is it just me is it just me <laughs> but this particular one doesn't i love the open bag detail we just took the dress on looking very simple in the front looking playful at the back i see myself wearing this for casual outings and just wearing this with simple moves and looking very pretty i'm obsessed with how this look came out see if you don't already know brown on brown skin everything next up i got this sleep gown this slip gown is an open back slit gown and you lace it up and you can always adjust it to the right way you want it if you want your waist cinch you can tighten it if you want it really loose you can let it be i got this in a size bigger than i would normally have gone for because i wanted it to be very free like i said when it comes to slip dresses i always like them to be free effortless so that you give you that feminine hourglass figure without being all huggy on your body it also has a long slit tie high slit on the side this is a three-quarter dress and it fits perfectly i can really see myself wearing this on vacation chilling taking cocktails margaritas you know how it is the only issue i have with this particular dress is that the material is non-stretchy so if you have that in mind when you're buying this dress if you're going to order the same slip dress that's why it's non stretchy and somehow that doesn't just sit right to me because the slip dress i want it to adhere to my body and settle in all my contours minus that i'm obsessed with this dress like i said brown on brown skin everything next up we have this cut out 
slit dress. The slit on this dress was even embarrassing for me. Like when I see this dress, I see nakedness. <laughs> Literally. And if you raise your hand so fast with this dress, I feel like you can flash everybody. This dress is giving me vacation vibes. I see myself wearing this outfit on vacation because it's really open. I see myself wearing this on a beach where everybody else is also naked. So, hello. I love the material. It is so comfortable. Despite the fact that it sticks to your body, material is so comfortable once you wear it and it is really stretchy there's a lot of stretch on the dress i got this as an extra small and it fits me perfectly the slit on this dress is waist high literally and i was a little bit embarrassed i had to pin it because i cannot be flashing everybody on youtube okay so i had to pin it just for this haul but just have it in mind that the sleeve goes all the way up to your waist and you can wear this to a beach party you can wear this on vacation if you have to go to the beach if you want to take really cool pictures but you don't really want to wear a bikini i see myself wearing something like this because i'm not one to post a bikini picture but i can definitely put something like this on the ground so that was the idea behind you buying something like this with that we've come to the end of the shame or if you have any questions as to how to order what steps you have to take if you're confused sorry if you're shopping from nigeria i know how difficult it is you can always hit me up and i'm willing to help you out if you want more videos like this just let me know and i'll be happy to do that for you i love dressing up i love looking pretty so it's not even going to be so much of a stress don't forget to like share subscribe as always i love you and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye, gorgeous.